Now this uh, question 20 is based on simple harmonic motion. This is spring mass system. It says that a body of mass m is attached to the lower end of a spring whose upper end is fixed. The spring has negligible mass. When the mass m is slightly pulled down and released, it oscillates with a time period of 3 seconds. So in this particular question for a spring mass system, whatever expression you have for time period of oscillation that is 2 pi under root m by k. So remember that this time period will become directly proportional to square of mass that has been attached. So now it says that it's, it oscillates with a time period of 3 seconds. So 3 second is proportional to square root of mass and uh, when m is increased by 1 kg the time period becomes 5 seconds. So 5 is proportional to square root of m plus 1. So essentially if you divide these two, so 5 by 3 is equal to square root of m plus 1 upon m. This is what you have. So you have to solve it for m. That will be simply 9 by 16 kg. So 9 by 16 kg will be the correct option. So I will be marking answer 4 for this question. Remember that answer 4. Fourth option is the correct option for question 20. Now let us switch over to question number 21. Now this uh, question 21 is based on sound waves and that two organ pipes resonance. The second overtone of an open organ pipe, if you have an open organ pipe then uh, fundamental is like this, first overtone means uh, one more quarter wavelength and then so this is the shape of second overtone. The length uh, let us suppose x is there has the same frequency as the first overtone of a closed pipe. Same frequency means the wavelength size that should also be same or maybe quarter wavelength must be same. So if it is a closed pipe then what do you have? If you have a closed pipe then first overtone is something like this. Fundamental is having quarter wavelength and one more overtone means half of the wavelength is added. So this is equal to L. So here you can see they are saying the length of the open pipe x value you are supposed to calculate. So count the number of quarter wavelengths like here you have 1 quarter, 2 quarter, 3 quarter but this length is accommodating accommodating 6 quarter lengths 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So just double of wavelength is being accommodated. So x will be having double length 2L. You understand? So this is the answer you have to mark and for that I will be marking option 2. You could do this question by you know equating the wavelength with frequency matching the frequency and so on. So that is a larger approach. You adopt this approach so quicker answer will be coming. So I will be mas marking answer 2 for this question. Let us switch over to next question that is question 22. Now once again this uh, question 22 is uh, from the chapter sound waves and that to the concept of beats. Here you have been given three sound sources. This is typical of a question and very standard questions in which uh, the three sources have the frequency n minus 1, n and uh, n plus 1. You can consider it to be hertz because frequency is given to you. Now whenever you have two different sources and you sound them together, so what will happen is that average of both the frequency will be heard and the number of beats per second is the difference of the frequency of extreme values. So here the extreme values are n minus 1 and n plus 1. If you take the average of that, that will become n. So it will be superimposed with n, a large sound will be there and the wavering of that which you call number of beats per second is the difference of the extreme values. So number of beats per second which you want, beats per second, that will be the difference of these two, n plus 1 minus n minus 1. So this is 2 beats per second you will be hearing. Understand? So this will be the correct answer mark for this question. They are asking the number of beats produced per second will be. So this is the difference of extreme values. So I will be marking answer option 4 for this question. Understand? Now let us switch over to next question that is question 23. 